Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we're going to learn about something that is really cool and you've probably seen them before. That little flat fish with both eyes on one side. He looks really weird. We call these guys a couple names. The assorted flounder a uh, plate fish or a peacock flounder so normally you'll spend about forty dollars on them they normally aren't that expensive tank size you're gonna want by the end of it about a 120 because this guy can get really big care level super easy fish to take care of temper they can be semi-aggressive i would normally would like them in a predator tank care level they're really easy temperature you want to keep it about 72 to 78 DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Max size is so it kind of ranges everywhere. You will probably see them get about 8 inches in your tank, but I've seen online people saying they got up to a foot long, so you definitely need some room for this guy. Colors normally it's a mixture of gray, white, and black, all speckled throughout him, so he blends in really well with the sand. Diet, of course, they are a carnivore. Normally, what we fed this guy was shrimp, but we would make sure to cut them into really, really small pieces because this guy does not chew his food up. He's going to swallow it whole. So if you give him too big of a piece and he tries to swallow that, you could have a chance of him choking. So you want to be really careful when feeding him. Make sure to just cut it up. Cut it up smaller than you think. That way, he gets it down really easy. But shrimp's a really good thing to feed him. Uh, another one would be clams on a half shell. Once they thaw out, you can get that little clam out of there and cut them up for him. And then even silver sides, once you cut them up enough, he'll eat those. He loves them. Origin, they come from a bunch of different places. Some of the main ones being the Caribbean or Indonesia. Compatibility, just ask. So with this guy getting the size he is, normally they tend to go after small inverts or fish. So, like I said, him swallowing stuff whole. Once he gets big enough, if he can swallow that little chromie over there whole, he might go after him. So, you want to watch out for that. A lot of times, that's why people put these in predator tanks because most predators are going to be big. The other thing is a sand bed. You need the really, really soft sand bed for him to bury because he's always going to be down in the sand. Normally, he'll bury himself so deep, only his two little eyes will be poking out. Almost hard to see in the tank. You'll lose him a lot but make sure it's really deep enough for him to get in there and really soft for him so he doesn't get all scratched up on underneath him. But other than that, I think that's everything you need to know about the flounder. He's a really easy predator fish to take care of, but you definitely want to make sure to not give him food that's too big that he'll choke on and make sure the sand bed is deep enough for him to get in and it's soft enough too. But other than that, that is your flounder. If you got any other questions, any other kind of compatibility that you want to know just leave your tank description down below and i will let you know if he can go in your tank and what you can do about him other than that hope you all have a good day make sure to like and subscribe and i will see y'all next time thanks for watching